Hi friends, I'm Lado Okhotnikov. This video will be about the Foursquare tokenomics. We will discuss the essential things you need to know before the Foursquare launch. This information will help you to make profound and reasonable decisions. The total amount of the Foursquare is strictly limited and it is specified in the smart contract and it cannot be increased. By contrast, it can only be decreased as there will be the burning algorithms installed in the system. However, this, uh, the burning process in our tokenomics will not be artificial as it is in many other cryptocurrencies. This will be the burning of the rest of the coins that are not used for some specific tasks. Any planned action in our tokenomics has a clear and reasonable logic behind it. The maximum amount of the force coin is 585,142,858 coins. The majority of it will be directed to the Uniteverse program. The remaining allocations will include the liquidity pool, metaverse development funding, team remunerations and liquidity listing. This reserve is prepared for specific tasks. After their completion, the unused coins will be burned. 80% of force coins will be intended for release to the first users participating in Uniteverse. This is the only available option to get force coins at the initial stage. After the force coin is released on the open market, the remaining supply for the Uniteverse will be burned. The users will no longer be able to get force coin in the Uniteverse. After the end of initial period, you can require force coins only on open market. In the future, the emergence of new force coin is impossible in any way. This algorithm is initially embedded into the smart contract. Thus, the scarcity of our coin will only grow with time. Moreover, there will also be various algorithms increasing the coin's value and the demand for it. And now I will explain to you how. At the initial stage, before the coins release on the open market, its price will be determined by a decentralized mechanism. It operates on the principle of the automatic deca halving. Deca halving, or otherwise soft halving, is an algorithm for a gradual reduction of the coin mining rewards. It doesn't have any abrupt shifts between different halving stages like in Bitcoin, for example. As is well known, the Bitcoin algorithm periodically decreases the rewards for mining blocks twice. That transition is sharp and after a while the Bitcoin price starts to rise rapidly. In Forcecoin, there is no mining process requiring physical and electrical resources. We refer to Forcecoin mining period within Uniteverse program as the multi-mining this involves the participation in a multi-level marketing program, hence the multi-prefix. The minimum amount of the force coin issued during the multi-mining period is called a microblock. The current microblock is currently sold for 50 die. The amount of each microblock decreases, so the price of the force coin constantly increases. When a participant activates the first tier, the microblock is issued and distributed to the partner network, according to the marketing plan. If a participant purchases the full package, which costs 100 die, another microblock is issued. The coins from it are credited to the participant's wallet, but they remain frozen until the end of the multi-mining period. Therefore, the full package includes both tier activation and coin set. Coin set is the number of the coins you can acquire according to your tier. Every subsequent tier and full package costs twice as much and contains twice as many blocks, both for distribution across the network and in the coin set. How does the price change according to the soft halving algorithm? The idea is simple. The earlier you get the force coin, the cheaper the price. Later, they become more expensive. Let's take a closer look at the details of how it works. At the beginning, the first big block is distributed. 
it is half of the total amount prepared for multi-mining. The total supply for multi-mining is 468,114,000 force coins. The first half, which is 234,057,000 force coins, is the first big block, while the second half is all the remaining big blocks. Each subsequent big block is always half the size of the previous one. When the first big block is issued among the participants, the remaining 234,057,000 coins will also be divided into two parts. One half will be the new big block and the other half all the remaining blocks and so on. There are 10 small blocks inside every big block. Force coin distribution for the participants occurs subsequently in a special order from the first small block to the 10th. Each small block contains on average about 130,000 to 135,000 microblocks. Every microblock in the very first small block contains 200 force coins. When the first small block is finished, the second small block starts. And there are already each microblock contains 187.5 force coins. Simultaneously, the number of microblocks in each tier remains the same. The cost of the tier in die remains the same too. So the price of the force coin become slightly more expensive. Gradually, the content of every microblock decreases in the subsequent small blocks. When the tenth small block is realized, the entire big block is completed. And then the turn comes to the second big block, starting from the, its first small block, in which there are already 100 coins per microblock. This is exactly twice less than what was in the first big block at the beginning. Thus, we have a full halving cycle between big blocks. But it occurs gradually, without some abrupt shifts. So, the number of force coins gradually decreases for the same tier and package price. Meanwhile, the price of every coin is constantly rising. To receive force coins during the multi-mining stage, the participants need to activate Uniteverse tier. By activating the full package, you not only activate a tier whose payment goes towards distribution within the partner network, but you also receive coins in your wallet. The first full package costs 100 DAI. The full package of the first tier produces one microblock of force coins for distribution within the network and one microblock for your wallet. At the start of the launch, there are 200 force coins in one microblock. Then the number will decrease. If you activate only a tier, the first one costs 50 DAI, and you get the opportunity to buy force coins for an extra 50 DAI within 30 days. At the same time, you can also earn from the partner network. Each subsequent tier is twice as expensive as the previous level and contains twice as many microblocks. And the coin set in each subsequent package also contains twice as much. In total, we have nine tiers. Details of the partner bonuses will be described in the Uniteverse marketing plan in the next video. Thus, the price of the coin constantly increases. The growth is embedded in the smart contract and this rule cannot be changed. During the multi-mining stage, all the payments for the Uniteverse packages are made in DAI, which is immediately converted into Force Coin. If you activate the full package, you'll immediately receive Force Coin in your wallet. The full package is both participation in the Uniteverse Partner Matrix marketing and coin set, which means purchasing Force Coins at the current advantageous price. If you activate only a tier, you do not receive coin set, but you participate in partner marketing. Develop your team and you may receive force coins as a reward according to the marketing plan. You also have opportunity to acquire your allotted limit of force coins at the current price, corresponding to your tier for 30 days. Just keep in mind that within 30 days, the price of force coins may increase and then you will receive fewer coins. 
the principle the earlier the better works here. You can specify the way you want to receive partner rewards for marketing in your account. You can choose to receive payments in DAI or in Force Coin or in 50 50 split. This option is, of course, ambiguous, as many who choose DAI will lose their advantage considering the possibility that the price of Force Coins will grow. But everyone should have the freedom of choice, and everyone is responsible to their own one. So, at the initial stage, Force Coin is only available to United Wars participants in one of three ways. The first option is purchasing full packages or part of coin set accessible on your tier. The limit of your coin set available within 30 days. And then, if you extend the activation, there will be an extra coin set limit for another 30 days. The second option is to receive force coins through the payouts in the partner network. The third option will be open due to the fact that some of the participants may want to receive partner bonuses fully or partially in DAI. If they choose DAI, they give up their entitled force coins. In this case, their uncollected force coins can be bought by other participants. To do this, you must submit a request for buyback in advance, freezing the amount of for which you want to receive force coin in your account. Your request goes into the general queue of such requests, and the priority is given to those with a higher active tier. The lower the tier, in the Uniteverse, the further back in the queue you are. In other words, the smart contract automatically checks the requests from the ninth tier participants. Their requests will be the first ones to be fulfilled. Then the eighth tier starts and so on, down the levels. What if there is a situation where there is no requests for unused force coin? In this case, the coins will not be held as they will be sent to the parent pool and no one will receive them. The redemption is possible upon a pre-request only. Tier extension. Your tiers are active for 30 days. The extension of a tier can be up to 5 times cheaper if you pay in force coins. During the multi-mining period force coins will be frozen, but they can be used to extend the tiers. Otherwise, if you pay in DAI, it needs to be activated at the original activation price. Thus, even at this stage, despite the lack of movement in the market, the coins already have value and it is better to accumulate them as much as possible in a timely manner. As soon as the multi-mining period ends, the next period starts. The coins will already be on the open market and their price will depend on supply and demand. But in metaphors, everything is already prepared to increase demand and reduce the force coin supply. Our coin will be needed for everything. All marketing plans will work on force coin. We will have a lot of products that can only be purchased with the force coins. Users will come to our metaverse where they will need force coins for interactions and there will be a wide range of interactions. Someone will be interested in a variety of games. Someone will want to build a business or get a job and earn money. Someone is interested in acquaintance and further mutual activities. And this can be joint adventures or dates or workouts and so on. You will find many different products in our metaverse. Our products you'll evaluate when they get to market. But I guess you've already enjoyed the effectiveness of our network marketing. Our program, known as Classic, has already attracted more than a million participants. But in the future our network marketing will attract many more. After all, it is much easier to build teams when you can tell them that Metaforce is a metaverse and a whole ecosystem. Therefore, let's consider how marketing programs will create a deficit of force coins. And accordingly, it leads to a rise in their price. There are several network marketing programs in Metaforce. Each of them requires force coins for participation. Accordingly, they will be in demand in order to be used in the programs. 
Obviously, the marketing program's turnover in Force Coins will be much higher than it was in DAI. But the amount of Force Coins is limited, so the increase in the turnover will occur through the market price growth. This fact alone can drive up the price. But there's more here than just the turnovers. There are some mechanisms within the partner programs that will increase the force coins scarcity many times more. As you know, the classic program has an automatic upgrade. And if you want to receive 100% of the income from the partner network, you need to leave this function on to be automatic. In this case, one of the payment is delayed in a special smart contract. If you refuse to wait, you can withdraw your funds from there. But then you will receive 75% of these payments instead of 100%. It is better to wait for the next payment which will activate the next slot level for you. For you, this waiting situation is temporary and may not last long if you actively develop your network. But in the smart contract, itself, the amount of such delayed funds is increasing. That means the force coins are withdrawn from circulation, which increases their scarcity. A similar mechanism will occur in the boost program. The overreal program will also significantly reduce the number of available coins in circulation. As for Uniteverse, there is a unique mechanism which also increases the value and the scarcity of the force coin. Moreover, it opens the possibility of passive income. To extend tiers at a price five times cheaper, it is necessary to use frozen force coins every month. We are talking about the next stage when force coins will enter the open market. Accordingly, at the next stage, there will no longer be such a thing as a full package. There will be only the tiers providing different access levels to the metaverse. Frozen force coins can be of eight types depending on the freezing period and each one will have its own ticker. Hold force coin 1 is a force coin that has been frozen for 20 days only. Hold force coin 2 for 40 days. You may see the types of frozen coins in the table on the screen. The maximum Hold Force Coin 8 has been frozen for 200 days. Hold Force Coin 1 is suitable only for the first extension. That is, from the moment of the activation, you will have 30 days until the extension. So you have 10 days to freeze it to yourself for the first extension. Hold Force Coin 2 is suitable for the second extension, but it also can be used for the first one. Hold Force Coin 3 is suitable for the third, second, and first extensions, and so on. Hold Force Coin 8 is required for the eighth extension and all the subsequent ones. Participants can freeze the necessary amount of Force Coins for the future extensions in advance by themselves. But what if you didn't have time to do this in advance and in sufficient quantities? Will you have to activate the tier at the full original price? There's an alternative way here. You can buy frozen coins on the open market. Despite their frozen status, such coins have two options. Trading in the status of the frozen coins and extending the tiers. This in turn opens the possibility of passive income for any user. Anyone, even without participating in Uniteverse, can acquire force coins and freeze them with the aim of selling them later to the participants who themselves did not have time to prepare frozen force coins but need to extend their tiers. In logic, the price will be higher than that of the regular force coin, but cheaper than the 5x cost for the original activation price of the tier. So, it will be beneficial for both the seller and the buyer. This mechanism is completely different from the usual schemes of passive income in cryptocurrencies. There is no pyramid component here. Besides, there is no empty speculation, no need to turn on the printing press for passive income. This is a healthy market mechanism that provides buyers with what they need. 
Meanwhile, we will continue to expand into different areas where the force coin will be required. Summing up, I am confident that there's going to be a huge demand for our coin. So, what do you need to do now to acquire the force coin at an extremely low price? Well, you need to become a participant of the Unite Verse. If you are just a force coin buyer, then you certainly need to activate the full packages. Additionally, you can increase your amount of force coin by leaving a request with frozen funds for buyback. Active participants can use all the ways to mine force coins from the coin set through buyouts on requests and through affiliate rewards. And the potential for opportunities in network marketing is unlimited. I will talk about it in the next video. We have a unique tokenomics with a flawlessly thought out strategy. Our coin lives up to its name, just like we are with you. And we are with you. Force.